definitely a big tipping point, I think, in the world of addressable TV. Although we're still a little bit of time away, but it's, it's really being driven by connected television uh, and how many devices and how many TVs are being connected to the internet via whether it be smart TVs or the Roku's of the world or some other device in the home. I think it's now the stat is like 81% of all US homes have a connected television. And that connected TV uh, solution and the technology really is changing obviously how consumers consume content, uh, how suppliers are ultimately building and, and developing apps that are being streamed and, and many of them are ad supported, and ultimately how there's going to be the technology that actually drives the ability to take not the traditional MVPD two minute of media per, month, per hour for addressable television but it's really going to open up the, the opportunity for a lot of the main broadcasters and networks to take their broadcast supply, their linear traditional supply, and ultimately make it addressable. In terms of the technology, ACR in general and the smart TV and devices really allow for the opportunity to place another ad ultimately on top of an ad. So it takes over the, that, that environment and gives the opportunity to basically insert an ad without having to go through the traditional methods of uh, working with a set-top box. And so if you think about the Nielsen acquisition of Sorensen and what Vizio is doing with their OR consortium, that's all about utilizing smart TV technology and connected TV technology to activate addressability on linear spots, traditional spots, without having to use an a, a intermediary uh, source like an MVPD. And so tell us you know, what you guys do in that, in that scenario. So, so for us, connected television, uh, which we've been working in for a long time, you know, videology, now Amobi TV has been really doing a lot around convergence. Uh, and a long time ago, we saw the nature of how connected TV will ultimately be bought and sold in the future. And, and it's going to be a planned reserve based type of, of medium. Uh, that's similar to how linear broadcast is bought today, though there will be addressability. And so what we're working with is an understanding of really how to support brands and suppliers' understanding of their inventory that they have access to or inventory that they are capable of selling, of how they look at that inventory holistically. Because TV is evolving. In 2022, they're saying, they're, they're estimating that 36% of all TV budgets will be on CTV. 50% will be on traditional linear. And so for solving for that need of being able to support supply and demand in a holistic view against 36% of the supply is really necessary in combination with 50% with the, with the traditional linear. So a Mobi TV has built the solutions to understand really around allocation and yield management on the demand side or the supply side to support utilizing data for delivering against the need of all the variables and all the, all the opportunities that come in when you're thinking about a 30 second spot that's running on broadcast and the combination of addressable t uh, spots that will be available via the connected TV technologies. If you don't solve for that, if things continue to get bought in the silos, then there's not going to be efficiencies in the marketplace for the suppliers and for the buyers. And so the Amobi TV solution, we've always thought around the understanding of convergence in television and video. And for us, convergence in television you know, wasn't so much the programmatic uh, type of RTB solutions out there, but it was really about the 90% of the supply that's traded upfront and forecasted uh, and, and planned against and reserved. And addressable TV, connected television, being premium in nature, that's going to be built and grow because of this technology, will be traded in much more of an upfront approach. It doesn't mean that those components aren't addressable. It just means that the supply is constrained, and therefore it will be sold in an upfront and will need to be planned and reserved versus really a lot of the, the uh, what today programmatic CTV is driven by a lot of the the, the RTB type solutions. So connected TV is for all brands. And I say it's for all brands because 
traditional linear television reach is evolving. And so today we use a lot of connected television to help brands complement their TV campaign. And so if that, if that track continues and, and linear traditional television continues to evolve, which it's going to, and 36% of, of viewership is happening on streaming video content, then connected TV does work for all brands. And addressable TV does because it, addressable TV doesn't mean I have to reach only homes based on a certain attribute. It also can mean I want to reach individuals who were not exposed to my linear TV campaign. Right? So it doesn't always have to be about the application of an attribute to think about addressability. It could be geo-targeting right? in terms of now these, these broadcasters who have all these supplies maybe can start thinking about taking some, some local regional budgets. It could be about driving incremental reach. And so these are the things that are happening today. For CTV, we, have, we work with regional advertisers, TV advertisers who want to buy local. right? We work with more direct response driven type of you know, direct to consumer advertisers who want to measure the outcome of CTV like they do digital video. We work with many brands who are using CTV to drive incremental reach because they're not getting it on television. Those same functions are going to continue to expand and grow and be more available as that medium and that supply grows. And that supply is going to grow is because the major suppliers are going to be, have access to be able to activate it with the technologies that are coming down and, and growing right now.